Hi viewers, this is Panikumar, Senior Lecturer in Chemistry. I am going to start a new YouTube channel, crackchemistry.neetje to help the students who are preparing for NEET, JE mains and advanced examinations. So, I would like to upload the videos based on the NEET and JE mains and advanced portions to help the students who are preparing for these uh, different competitive examinations as well as uh, UPSC or other competitive examinations also. Here I am going to cover widely all the concepts of uh, chemistry to help the students who are preparing for competitive examinations. In my first video, I would like to explain the IUPAC nomenclature of the organic compounds. So what is the need and necessity of this IUPAC nomenclature? What is IUPAC means? IUPAC means International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. All the scientists all over the world gather together and they have started this organization to provide uniformity in the name of uh, an organic compound and they given few rules and regulation to name the organic compounds. In this video, I am going to upload IUPAC nomenclature of uh, aliphatic compounds. In the further videos, I uh, will extend uh, to the nomenclature of aromatic compounds, uh, bicyclic compounds uh, as well as uh, Narborinane systems and all the kinds of uh, IUPAC nomenclature systems uh, will be explained in the further videos. First of all, without making any delay, let us start today, today's concept uh, IUPAC nomenclature of an aliphatic compound. For example, if we want to write IUPAC name of an organic compound, it is having certain basic skeletal system. Let's have a look on the skeletal structure of uh, IUPAC name of an organic compound. In the skeletal structure of IUPAC name of an organic compound, the important thing is the root word. Here, what does it mean by root word and what information we can furnish from the root word means uh, the root word gives the information about the number of carbon atoms in the parent chain. Root word gives the information about the number of carbon atoms in the parent chain. In the successive lessons, we will discuss about the selection of parent chain, how to select the parent chain, how to number the parent chain, how to consider the functional group present in the parent chain. Everything we will discuss in the successive video. First of all, let's have a basic idea about the root word. Here, as I told, root word gives the information about the number of carbon atoms in the parent chain. Let me say, if the parent chain is having one carbon atom, we have to write it as meth. If two carbon atoms, we have to write it as eth. Three carbon atoms, prop. Four carbon atoms, but. Five carbon atoms, pent. Six carbon atoms, hex. Seven carbon atoms, hept. Eight carbon atoms, oct. Nine carbon atoms, non. Ten carbon atoms, dec. Eleven carbon atoms, undec. And finally, twelve carbon atoms, we have to write the root word as a dodec. Let's have an example. Here, I am having a compound with the molecular formula and the structure CH4. What will be the root word this compound means? As it is having only one carbon atom, we have to write the root word myth. And if at all we are having a compound with the molecular formula CH3, CH3. As it is having two carbon atoms, we have to write the root word yith. Let me take some other compound like this, which is a triangle, let it be. Here, we are having three carbon atoms. So, it should have the root word prop. Like this, based on the number of carbon atoms present in the skeletal structure, we have to select the root word. And in the skeletal structure of the IUPAC name, it is having two more words, that is a suffix and a prefix. The word what we have to write after root word is called as suffix and the word what we have to write before root word is called as a prefix. 
Here, the suffix gives the information about the functional group. What does it mean by functional group means? It is nothing but an atom or a molecule or group of atoms which is responsible for the chemical properties of an organic compound is called as a functional group. Apart from functional group, we are having other atoms other than carbon and hydrogen atoms which are responsible for only the physical properties and they does not influence the chemical property. Such a kind of atoms or molecules are called as the prefixes. Here the prefix and the suffix both are classified into two different types. Let us have a look on the prefix first. Here if at all if we observe the prefix it is of two different kinds primary prefix and uh, secondary prefix. So here first of all let's have a look on uh, primary prefix. What is a primary prefix means? Uh, here have a look on these three compounds. In these three compounds uh, first one we are having only CH4 one carbon atom. Second carbon atom we are having only two carbon atoms and in third we are having uh, three carbon atoms. If you observe these molecules carefully here in the second carbon atom, the first and the last carbon atom remains free. Here in the third compound, the first and the last carbon atoms are bonded together. So based on that what we can say, here the aliphatic compounds are of two different types. One is acyclic compounds, second one is the cyclic compounds. Acyclic compounds means uh, the compounds in which the first and the last carbon atoms remain free are called uh, acyclic compounds and if the first and the last carbon atoms are involved in the bonding they are called as the cyclic compounds. Here we will use this primary prefix only for the cyclic compounds. We have to use the primary prefix only for the cyclic compounds that too we have to write a cyclo. If at all if we came for the suffix here primary suffix. This primary suffix is used for the saturation level of the organic compound. What does it mean by saturation level means we know that the valency of the carbon is 4. That means at a time carbon is having the ability to make a four bonds with uh, four different atoms. So if it forms uh, four bonds with the uh, four different atoms uh, then it is said to be as the saturated compound. If at all if one carbon atom makes uh, a double bond or a triple bond with uh, other carbon atoms they are called as unsaturated compounds. If uh, a carbon compound is having uh, all sigma bonds you have to write the primary suffix as uh, an. If at all it is having a double bond, you have to write the primary suffix as EN. If at all if you want to write uh, YN, that compound should have a triple bond. And based on the number of double bonds and triple bonds, uh, again we have to use here numerical primary suffix. This numerical primary suffix uh, indicates the position of the unsaturation. That means uh, at which carbon atom either the double bond or uh, triple bond is present is indicated by the numerical primary suffix and the number primary suffix that indicates the number of times of a double bond or triple bond that means whether a double bond is present for two times you have to write it as di if it is present for three times you have to write it as a tri so diene or triene you have to mention and let us come back for the secondary prefix Again the secondary prefix is of uh, three different types that is a uh, numerical secondary prefix indicates the position of the substituent, number secondary prefix indicates the number of times of the substituent and the uh, name of the secondary prefix and in the same way secondary suffix it is of also three different types uh, numerical, number and uh, name. Numerical means indicates the position of functional group. Number indicates the number of times of functional group. Name indicates uh, the name of that uh, particular functional group. Let's have a look on the names of the substituents or the groups or atoms uh, when they are present as a functional group or a substituent. 
let me say if your carbon compound is having only carbon and hydrogen atoms no other atoms are present then that is called as a hydrocarbon and you have to write the secondary suffix as a e so let us have an example here i am having a compound like this ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 here by merely by looking at this compound we can say it is having four carbon atoms so its root word will be meth next it is having all sigma bonds between the carbon atoms so the primary suffix will become an as it is having only carbon and hydrogen you have to use the secondary suffix methane right next sorry butane sorry sorry friends here as it is having a uh, four carbon atoms uh, you have to write it as a uh, but and uh, a n e butane we have to write it as butane sorry friends have you look as it is having four carbon atoms you have to write but and as it is having all sigma bonds you have to write it as a n and only carbon and hydrogens are present uh, e you have to write it as uh, butane right next in the same way if oh group is there oh group is called as a alcoholic group if alcoholic group is present as a functional group you have to write it as a ol and if it is present as a substituent you have to write it as a hydroxy next if cho group cho means a aldehyde group if aldehyde group is present a as a secondary suffix that means functional group you have to write it as a al and if it is present as a substituent you have to write it as formyl and another important point you have to remember here if while you are selecting the aldehyde group as the functional group we have to remember one point if the carbon atom of the aldehyde functional group comes into the parent chain then you have to write it as al if it does not comes into the parent chain you must write the name of that aldehyde functional group as a carbaldehyde and next if co group is there this is called as a ketone functional group or ketone group as functional group you have to write one one and as a substituent oxo or keto and if cyanide group is there cn means cyanide if cyanide group is there you have to write it as a nitrile or if the carbon atom of the cyanide group does not comes into the parent chain then you have to write it as a carbonitrile as a substituent you have to write it as a cyano as a secondary prefix next if nc group is there that is called as a isocyanide and this isocyanide as functional group you have to write carbylamine and as a substituent isocyano most of the times cooh group is considered as only the functional group and as functional group that means as a secondary suffix you have to write it as oic acid if the carbon atom does not comes into the parent chain carboxylic acid regarding the examples of this aldehyde cyanide and the carboxylic acid in the next video along with examples uh, i'll explain and next if amide amide or cox ol halide alkoxy alkyl nitro and nitroso halo groups are always considered as only substituent they are not considered as functional groups this is what the thing we need to represent thank you friends if you like this video please like and subscribe crackchemistry.neetje thank you very much friends